Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. It is the Monday edition of the Savage Nation. I'm back from the vacation I didn't take. Welcome and thank you for listening. Uh, I should have been off all of most of last week and this week, but I didn't. I stayed here. And I got to tell you, there's an awful lot of news out there. I mean, if you look at what Murdoch's minions are doing at the New York Post, you could see how important they see the immigration crisis is. You can see how important they see Obama selling out Israel and throwing them to the Islamic wolves. I mean, you could see it because the headline on the New York Post is very clear. Johnny Manziel's girlfriend hysterical in dash cam video. That is the headline on the New York Post.com. Teen Stoner says he hacked CIA director's AOL account. But if that's not newsy enough for you, Murdoch's minions have this for you. The leggiest woman in America doesn't date short guys. Now, now you understand why ISIL or ISIS or the Islamic uh, fascists are raging across the globe, why Obama gets away with virtual murder and printing money. It's because of a little help from his friends. See, the 60s had a song by the Beatles called I Get By With A Little Help From My Friends, I Get High With A Little Help From My Friends, and nothing's really changed. They get by with a little help from their friends, they get high with a little help from their friends. Which leads us to Saturday Night Live, a stoner channel, and there's a comedian who you have probably never heard of, a snide Brooklyn billionaire socialist named Larry David. And I was told that this snide billionaire socialist Larry David did a Bernie Sanders imitation this past weekend. Now, being a political left-wing fanatic like Sanders himself, David cleverly chose not to ridicule Sanders' politics. You know, he did weak jokes about underwear and radiators, that kind of thing. Now, the reason Saturday Night Live made believe that they were ridiculing Bernie Sanders was to weaken Michael Savage's strong performance, when not only is Bernie Sanders the lunatic ridiculed, but more particularly Bernie Sanders' more insane Soviet economics are exposed through my comedy. Now, you have to hand it to the extreme liberal media types. When they see a genuine threat emerge on the other side in the form of someone who is as talented as I am, and they take on one of their cultural icons. You see, they bring in their biggest guns to try and triangulate the opposition. Just what Hillary Clinton's been doing. Question. Did anyone see the Saturday Night Live imitation of Sanders? Who was better, me or Larry David? And did you notice how they never entertained or ridiculed his Soviet-style politics? Yes, we will talk about that. But the bigger topic is this. It's the surge of Muslims into Europe and the United States of America. The migrant influx threatens to drown the world and drag us into a thousand years of dar darkness. I stand by these words. I know that they're considered, well, a little controversial in America today to talk about borders, language, and culture. I guess it's controversial to stand up for your country if you're not Bernie Sanders or Larry David. Countries that gave these lowlifes everything they enjoy that they hate so much. And I ask this, you see millions of Muslims are coming out of the Middle East, pretending to be refugees, many of them, as you know, are ISIS members, and I'll prove that to you very shortly. Why would any country in the world accept Islamic migrants and commit suicide? I'll give you an example. Let's go to Lebanon. Lebanon was once a prosperous, predominantly Christian nation only 75 years ago. Did you know that it was called the Paris of the Mideast? It was a popular holiday spot. It was a commercial and banking center compared to Switzerland. Lebanon. Then what happened? Around 1950, Lebanon took in Islamic refugees from where? Syria and other war-torn areas. Once the PLO was defeated in Jordan in the Black September Massacre by Jordanian military in 1970, by the way, many Palestinian militants fled where? To Lebanon. 
And what did this produce? This led to increasing sectarian violence between Palestinians and the Maronites, the Lebanese Christians and other Lebanese factions. And what is Lebanon today as a result of the Muslim invasion? It's hell on earth. A civil war among Christians, Sunnis and Shiites that began in 1975 and raged in 1990 still goes on today. In one decade from now, 10 years from now, Germany as you know it will no longer be existent. In 10 years from now, the United Kingdom under those, I, I have a word that I can't use, it's a family show, those sellouts, those quizlings, those vermin who pretend to be leaders, those rats, those rats, those rats who run the West. There will be no UK, no Germany, and no Sweden. You will see something that you'll never believe if you live another 10 years. Here is my prediction. Wait until the Muslims gain a majority through their multiple breeding. Wait until the Muslims gain a majority and gain control of the military. Then you look back and say, who was that who was trying to warn us? Was it Saturday Night Live with their snide, pot-fueled garbage? Was it all the snide Brooklyn vermin like Larry David? It was Michael Savage, Borders Language Culture. I am the George Washington of my time. I am the Paul Revere of my time. I've been trying to warn you for 21 years what these vermin are doing to this country and what you can see they are doing in Europe. Take a look. Look at Lebanon. Imagine what this country is going to be. One decade from now, mark the calendar down right now. And by the way, even Gaddafi, the former strongman dictator of Libya, Gaddafi, the one that Hillary Clinton cackled about, we came, we saw, he died. <laughs> and the sorority laughed. Do you know what Gaddafi said? He said, Europe runs the risk of turning black from illegal immigration. It could turn into Africa. Now, I know that that's uh, racist. I get it. In your mind. Is it? Is it racist to say that Europe could turn into Africa? Is that a racist statement? Do you think Europe will benefit if it becomes Africa? He also said this. At the moment, there is a dangerous level of immigration from Africa into Europe, and we don't know what will happen. And he also said this, we don't know if Europe will remain an advanced and cohesive continent or if it will be destroyed by this barbarian invasion. Now, migrants are flooding into Europe, and the new, I, I mean, they painted a picture of Merkel, the leader of Germany, in a fascist uniform with her hand held high like Hitler, with a, with a uh, European symbol, an EU symbol on her hat. Because the EU is the new, uh, I wouldn't say Nazism, it's the new Soviet system, soft. The EU is soft Soviet. Do you all get that? EU, the European Union, is a soft Soviet period. And what is the grand strategy of the morons who run the European Union other than raping young children? What is the strategy of the perverts who run the European Union other than robbing the Treasury blind and having sex with children as young as infants in hidden locations? Do they have a strategy, those perverts and degenerates? They hate themselves. They hate their own country. And so what is their strategy? They have no strategy other than to, to, to fool the people all of the time. So what is the grand strategy of the Muslims that they are flooding into Europe? Have you heard of a technique called hijra h-i-j-r-a-h it's all explained in government zero my book which will be out next tuesday the 27th and i'm asking you to mark your calendar because i'm counting on you this is my last shot at trying to save this country i don't need a new house i have all the houses i could ever want i don't need a new car i have all the new cars i ever wanted i don't need anything financially I need you to wake up before this country is gone. If you permit the drug addicts who run television, if you permit the drug addicts who hoodwink you with medication, both legal and illegal, to put you to sleep, you will not wake up in America. You'll wake up as a prisoner in your own country. What is Hijra? H-I-J-R-A-H. -H. Read Government Zero. Buy two copies, one for a neighbor, one for a friend, one for a husband, one for a wife, one for someone who was as ignorant as Larry David, a snide synagogue jester. Larry David and his friends were the type that we knew when we were kids. They were sort of pre-adolescent mockers. They mocked everybody and everything. And they got very far with it. There was a word for them, which I can't use on the radio, 
They were known as synagogue jesters. They stood in the back and they mocked the rabbi. They mocked God. They mocked the traditions of their own people. They mocked everything and everybody. Then they turned it on the Christians. They mocked any Christian. They mocked the church. They mocked the collar. They mocked the father. They mocked the mother. They mocked everything in the world. And they made billions of dollars. And people laugh. And while they do this and they melt a society down with their, with their I, I don't know what the word is, shall I say, cynicism, juvenile cynicism at that, the Islamists are seeing this for what it is, which is utter weakness. So what is Hijra? H-I-J-R-A-H. Read about it in Government Zero. I have a whole chapter on it. No borders, no language, no, country, no culture. But what is Hijra? You need Government Zero to read that? You can figure it out. It means moving to a new land in order to bring Islam there, and it is considered in Islam to be a holy and revered action. I'll read it to you in case you think I'm making it up. And you won't hear this on Saturday Night Live. And I'll quote it. And whoever emigrates for the cause of Allah will find on the earth many locations and abundance. And whoever leaves his home as an emigrant to Allah and his messenger, and then death overtakes him, his reward has already become incumbent upon Allah for 100. What does this mean? It means if a Muslim dies in his emigration, in the process, it's the same as being a suicide bomber. His reward is automatic by spreading Islam. And that's why many of them take on this perilous journey. They're on the same mission as the jihadists. Whether or not they actually set off a vest doesn't matter. If you look at the history of Islam, which I spell out in great detail in Government Zero, something you won't hear about on Saturday Night Live or any of the television shows, you won't hear about it on Fox News, where I am banished. You won't even hear these words very soon in America. What I am reading to you right now will soon be banned in America by the vermin who are destroying this country. The evil Soviet forces that are destroying the men of Europe and destroying the men of America will soon make a broadcast like the one you are hearing illegal and I will be arrested for it. The truth will become the greatest threat against the gangsters who have taken control of these nations. The gangsters and criminal gangs who are raping and pillaging their way across this nation and across Europe. Insider contracts, false solar contracts, false highway contracts, uh, fraudulent and false bridge building contracts. Do you think it's being done for any reason other than to pillage the treasury? Read all about it. It's in government zero. And while they're doing this, and by the way, that's called corruption. It's called the degeneracy of a nation. While this corruption occurs, the Islamists are on the march. They see it for what it is. There's a statement that you may have learned in high school, if you weren't laughing at everybody. And it was taught like this. It said, nature abhors a vacuum. America is a vacuum right now. There's no soul. There's no spirit. What has replaced God is emptiness. It's the same in Europe. The churches are empty. The people have no soul. There's no center to them. Nature abhors a vacuum. Read all about it. Government Zero coming soon to a bookstore near you. Back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. Are you getting into... We're talking about the invasion of Europe by Muslims and the calculated plan to oversweep the West with Muslims, take it over, convert it to Sharia law, put women in burqas, mutilate young women, take over the military, make everyone bow to Mecca, make Christians pay a tax. God knows what will happen to the Jews. We know what will happen to the mockers. We know what will happen to those who mock those of us who are trying to warn you. We know what will happen. And we're talking about Hijra, H-I-J-R-A-H. You can read all about it in Government Zero. You're going to hear about Government Zero all week this week. You're just going to hear about it. Get used to it. Get used to it. You're going to hear about it all week. It's the most important book of the year. I don't care what anyone else says. And so we'll go on of what Hijra is, what the strategy is, why Europe is being overrun right now by Muslims. Why are there so many young men, no women, no children? Who are they? They're not all from Syria. Many of them are from Bosnia. Some of them are from other nations. What are they doing? How did it happen that a nation with such a 